Hello YouTube! I have a collective haul to share with you. I made a Jackson's Art Order, which came in sort of like two parts. Because the first package was damaged and the shipping company lost like half of the... Almost half of the art supply, so it came like in a separate little box. But I mainly made a gouache order. I think let's start with the biggest squash set. I, will. <laughs> I don't know why I moved these over here, but I already unwrapped it. I ordered the Shin Han Designer Gouache 24A set. I couldn't wait till I already unwrapped it. I haven't used them yet, but the sticker was on here with all of the colors that are in the set. I will do a separate video looking into these colors because 24 gouache colors is a lot to swatch and test out in one go. So I might do like different parts. I've been really getting into gouache these days. I was already looking at the tubes and pigment numbers. And what I found interesting is like the lemon yellow and the permanent yellow are both like a PY3 while this looks a lot warmer compared to this one. So it's interesting to see that but the pigments can look different even though they have the same pigment number. This one is a funny one. This is Alicerin Crimson. It's also a PR83, but <laughs> Shin Han claims that the light fastness is like three stars, which I don't believe. Because if I look around, do I have another three stars? It's the aqua blue, it's also three stars, and it has these two pigments, so how... And all of these, if I have it correctly... No, not this one. I think it was this one. All of these contain the same pigment, which is a PY3 and a PG7. And guess what? This one is also a PG7. If I can open it, it's a Viridian, Viridian. it's a PG7. So you can mix these colors with either these two colors. But that was just something I saw and noticed. But I'm quite excited to try this out. And in the first package, I got these three. This one is by the way something different. And I, I think it's funny how the Jackson art package the colors it's like in color families like the earth tones the blue tones and the vibrant colors when i was missing items from my order i contacted jackson's art and they are they have a great customer service because i got the option of either a refund or I only need to send a couple of pictures of how the box looked and every item I received. And then they quickly responded back and asking if I wanted to either a refund for the missing items or if they if I wanted a reshipment. So I wanted reshipment because these were the reds and the yellows that I was missing. It feels incomplete <laughs> without these. So Shinhan Pass is like a hybrid between 
watercolor and gouache. And I was like, opaque watercolors? I'm interested. I was contemplating between the Magello, is it the white glass? I think it was the white glass. It says here. It says here the white glass uh, watercolors, opaque watercolors. But I changed my mind because I was only able to buy a complete set. And if I run out of a color, if that ever happens, I can't really buy a single tube of it. But I already ordered like a large tube on eBay. I already put this one in a half pan to see how good it can, how well it rewets. So I will show you guys how well this one rewets compared to like an opaque or fresh out of the tube. I think it's just my opinion. It rewets pretty nicely and it serves like it's like an in-between gouache and an opaque watercolor. So it's nice to mix like one of these colors to lighten up with this. So I'll be definitely using this. Was this one necessary? No, it wasn't. But I already ordered it and it took like almost a month to get here. But I already knew that. I also added... From the Chenin gouache line, the primary colors, the primary cyan, the primary lemon, and the primary magenta. So I will be swatching these three out for you. Because I was really interested in trying or working more with primary colors. See how far I can push primary colors in gouache. I know I, I tend to go for the split primary because I have more control of the temperature. And with the, with the cyan, yellow and magenta, you don't really have much control of the temperature. It's all very bright. That's my first impression of first thoughts. So I'm hoping I can get more used to it. And I'll probably do like a sketch with me with these. And I kind of cheated a little bit because I had to wait like two weeks for this box to arrive with the rest of the items. So I was kind of playing with the uh, indigo and like swatching here. This is like the deepest color you can get with the indigo. And I was and I was using the mission white glass to lighten the tones. But so far, I quite like it. Like it gives like a quick study sketch vibe. And this is, by the way, a pretty cheap sketchbook that I got from the Action. And it's it's meant to be like a split sketchbook with the alcohol paper and the alcohol paper. And I just mushed the alcohol paper together and the alcohol paper or alcohol marker paper in one sketchbook. So I've been using this as my junkie, testing out, sketching, sketchbook. It's my ugly sketchbook. But right now I'm going to a face that every sketchbook that I own has ugly sketches. So it's, I, I hope it's a face because I want to burn every sketchbook that is not filled or filled with everything I made because it's ugly. <laughs> but that's a different subject. I also picked up this Pro Art uh, Polar set, which I thought I might use it for either gouache or I don't know. I saw I saw it. It was around five pound, and I thought I want to try this out. I also went to London in my holiday vacation. So when I went to London, I went to the Choose and Keeping art supply store because I saw it in Sketch and Scrub video she did like a store tour i will link that video down below but i was like i want to see the i want to see the store for myself because i didn't get too many items at choosing keeping but it's just a beautiful cute store i got two of these 
I got two of these Mitsubishi Uni a graphite pencil in 10B because the, these are very soft. And I also think this is from Mitsubishi. It's the, like the split pencil. I think it's meant for editing. Vermilion and Persian blue. I really want to try this pencil out. So, But with soft pencils, it tends to smear. And I always forget to set my graphite sketches. So I don't tend to do it. I also went to the Cost Art Store and got a Pro Art brush set. And it comes with a few round brushes and a flat brush. These are synthetic watercolor brushes. These are the Pro Lane Plus, while these are the student line. So I think this is like the higher grade one. And I got their Travel watercolor set. Which, by the way, it wasn't $31.95. I think it was $39.95. I'm pretty sure it was $39.95. It comes with 18 colors. And they're all like quarter pens. Um, I really want to open this one up. Look how tiny this looks. And I think this sable brush must be very tiny if it fits in here but i was more curious about the cost art brand itself because it's not something i can get over here okay this is how it looks it's like a sleek black with a thumb ring is it a thumb ring how do you actually use it? Is it? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a struggle. Okay, I have to open it up. Look how tiny they look. I have a full pen in for comparison. Like, that would mean it's like the half size of a half. Can I get one out? Oh, wait, they're like in their own little space. So it's not a half pen, but it's like cakes in the pen. But I have no pigment information. Nothing. This is how it looks in comparison to a half pen. But I don't see any pigment information anywhere. Maybe it's on this side. But it should also be on the packaging. So I will look into this one. It has like one mixing space. But we'll see how well. In London, we also went to a few Muji stores. These are, by the way, all of the refills. But I got some. This is ridiculous. This is what happens when we don't have a Muji store in the Netherlands. So when I saw it, I was like, is this what a Muji store is? This one I tried to use in the hotel room to write I kept like a mini travel log and I used the ink cartridge that was in here and what happened was I thought I would be smart and put this one upside down so that it would flow a little bit quicker. I got distracted and it started leaking in the hotel room. So I found out that the ink in here is sort of water resistant. So I was like scrubbing, scrubbing to get it out. So <laughs> it was not a fun experience, but it's a nice, uh, it's a nice fountain pen. I didn't use it too. Um, I didn't really use this fountain pen. I just had to clean it. 
So I don't know how good the nib is or anything. I picked up a few mechanical pencils. This one has like a nice feel, so I thought I would pick it up. And this looks like a wooden pencil. I have a few like dents in this pencil, so it's also very lightweight. But it looks really cool. It looks really nice, like this. And I also got, of course, the gel pens. I got just a pack with 10 of these. And these are like the 0 0.38. And the refills are in here for these and for some of these. But I can't wait to try them out. I also picked a few of these. I don't know what the difference is between the clicky one and the cap one. I don't know what the difference is, but I just picked up the other colors or the 0 .4, 0 0.5 in the black. What is it called? Blue black. Because I also have the 0 0.38. And a 0 0.5 in this one. I got the cap 0 0.5 for the black Muji. Well, this pink looks quite pretty, and I also have a brown. And I accidentally picked up another black, but can you have too many black gel pens? I don't think so. And an empty one because. I'm pretty sure I will lose one and I will only have a refill, so it's better to have a clear one on hand, so in case of losing one. I also got these erasable ball points or ball pens. So these are like the friction erasers. Like I will show you. Like I made a few sketches with these. They sort of dissolve in water as well. So the risk of it, of course, if you have to put on pressure and is it heat, it can damage the paper itself. Because it needs a lot of friction to remove the ink. But here are like a quick little sketches studies. The eyes are uneven. I went to a local art supply store and picked up a few Winsor Newton washes. I got the jet black. Of course, you can mix the jet black by using an ultramarine and a an Van and Dyke brown. But I wanted a convenience black. And I, used, I tend to use this black also with the other wash brands that I have. The permanent alizarin crimson because the Bengali rose is a little bit too bright for me. Like tone it down. So I got the permanent alizarin crimson and the lemon yellow. Finally, I got a few brush sets from the Neptune line. I've been already using these and I saw these two on sell or a lot cheaper than I'm used to. I think this one was around 50 euros while I sometimes see it for 120 euros. So I thought I might as well pick this one up because I might never see this one again for that price. And the same goes for this one. It's, I, actually, they were similarly priced, but I wanted more of the variation of brushes. I have a few duplicates. I think it's the number eight i already have the number eight and the number four which are my most used brushes and i really need to revamp my watercolor brushes i also got the elite watercolor brushes these are these are a little drier than these so this is like the more thirsty watercolor brushes and this is 
a lot less thirsty compared to this one. I only have like one elite brush. So I really wanted to try these two out. I really wanted to try the set out. And I never used an angle brush. I don't tend to use an angle brush. So I will see how I will use that. Since I haven't edited yet, I made another order with these from a Dutch art supply store. Or is it art supply and stationery items? I bought some here in our the Royal Talent Squash and here in our the Whole Bank Squash. Oh, let's open up these. So I got a lemon yellow, a Naples yellow, a yellow, oh, a deep yellow, light red, deep rose, deep red. A Persian blue, an ultramarine deep, a Havana Havana brown. I don't know how Havana brown, a tube of Havana brown, and sepia. So these are the colors I ordered for Royal Talents. These are more available. To me because I can't just buy them in store so I really wanted to try them out if they can sort of compete with my favorite gouaches right now it's like Holbein at number one and a close second are the Winter Newton and I picked up a few colors <laughs> of Holbein gouache I got an orange from the Irodori line A primary magenta, a carmine, and then I picked up a few blues. Well, just one blue. The Katsura blue, which is made with a BB17, which I haven't seen in watercolor just the pb15 and 16 so i wanted to try this out or this color out from the irodori line the edo violet and ash blue a cobalt green pale and an ash green so <laughs> this is everything I picked up uh, it, it, it's a this is even everything on screen so uh, was it overkill yes it was so I picked up a lot of gouache as you can see okay. even the Shinhan pass when these weren't enough <laughs> of course the whole set of the designer Shinhan gouache I swatched out I didn't oh right here as you could see I swatched these primary gouache colors and I think that they are very, very vibrant, so kind of shocked by that, how vibrant they are. So I can't wait to dig in these colors. I have a challenge in mind for this set, and these are also included. And this Shinhan gouache I mainly want to use in my sketchbook, but also I want to compare 
to the designer gouache. What's the difference? I think these are a little bit more transparent. They also uh, crack. Some colors crack. The permanent yellow just happens to crack in the, when when it dries in on a pen. So I won't fill pens with these Shinhan pass watercolors. I just will squeeze out whenever I'm using it. But the carmine didn't crack and the indigo doesn't crack either. So I'm gonna keep playing with these. Um, I sort of expected these to somewhat crack because they do have like a matte finish. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I wonder if you had to pick like one gouache brand that you were allowed to use, just one brand, which one would you pick? So this was the collective haul. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.